Hello. Hello. What are you doing? I'm helping my friend make salsa. We're making salsa tonight. Hi. I'm so excited. I also have some spare ribs in the air fryer. I just made jasmine rice salsa I'm working on right now. And I'm going to cut up some cucumbers. And we're going to do dinner. Smells amazing already. Hello. The best one in the world. Sous chef. Sous chef. Sous chef. Sous chef. <laughs> Ooh, that onion is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now you see, my friend starts off making salsa de rojo and then it turns into salsa de verde later. <laughs> Favorite part. Thai chili pepper, okay? Don't get it twisted. Just one. Just one. Two, what, batches of cilantro. Mm -hmm. Will you help me, Mom, because I'm short? How does it feel to be tall, Mom? Huh? How does it feel to be tall? You know, I never really considered myself to be tall. And <laughs> then you met me. Gracias. Guess what we're watching, friends? Oh, God. Michelle's favorite show. Mm-hmm. More like Carlos's favorite show. There we go. Yeah. And just like magic, you got green salsa. <laughs> I love it. You're so funny. Stop it. Stop it, okay? Okay. Stop it. Oh, you already told her. About what? Her bad breath. That's what he was yelling at her about. Her bad breath? I think so. We were just sitting over here and then <laughs> Kim was like, why is he yelling at her? These are the best chips, you guys. Yeah, baby, you wanna try? Yeah. We'll split that. Mmm! Thanks, babe. Mm. Oh, man. So freaking good! Oh, man, that's good. Give me another chip. <laughs> Dinner's ready. Yum. One of Michelle's favorites. We got some spare ribs. We got some cucumber. You good? I was play I was prepping peppers and I forgot to wash my hands and it's all over my lips. Oh my goodness. You okay? Yeah. You want a bite, baby? I know you do. Sure. Here, my love. Mm. Thanks, babe. Of course. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There's a lot left okay. if you want it tonight. That's Unless fine. Michelle eats it all, then sorry. Mm. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I want some with the sauce. Okay. That's really good. It's so crazy that we like remember, even mm. though this was what? 2020? No. This was during COVID. It was, yeah. huh? It was, it was filmed before COVID, though, I think. 2019, right? Wasn't it in 2019? But I think we watched it in 2020. Oh. Oh. Hello friends, we are heading to the post office. I have some packages that I sent over there cause I wasn't too sure when they were gonna come since we are heading to camp soon. I'm so excited to go to camp. We're going camping with Michelle's family. We pretty much do this every year. I think we skipped last year though. I Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. And we usually do it, I think, actually it's been kind of like a mixture. Sometimes we'll do it in the winter time. One year we did it in July when it was like more of like a summer camp 
vibe. So this time we're doing it again in the winter time, which I like more than the summer vibe just because I can handle cold a little bit more than sitting around in like 90 degree weather. I have to pick up my packages and I honestly think that's it on the agenda. Nothing else, honestly. Mm. I am at Living Spaces. I'm here to look at a sofa that I've been eyeing for a little bit. I wanna see what it looks like in person. It is a really, really good price, you guys. I'll link it down below for you guys. If you are looking to put a sofa in your living area and you want like one long sofa or maybe you're redoing a bedroom or you're doing redoing like an office or decorating your space, I really, really like the sofa. It is, I believe, 97 inches. I think it's 91 or 97 inches inches which is like pretty long the color options are great if you're into like the lighter decor and guess what you guys for that size it's going for like $6.97 which is actually really affordable for that size and how big the sofa is because to get the same thing at like CB2 or Crane Barrel or Pottery Barn or West Elm they're selling it over there for like $3,000 which is insane for just one sofa so I just want to go into living spaces and take a look and kind of sit on it and feel it out. That's why I'm so grateful I live by living spaces. We're gonna head in. It's one of my favorite places. I don't think I can bring my camera, so I'll show you a few things on my phone, hopefully. There's a lot of furniture here, and I don't know where the sofa is. We actually got a lot of our furniture when we first moved out at living spaces. They have really good sectionals and couches and sofas and dining sets and bedroom stuff here. I highly recommend living spaces. Okay, this is also where we got our blue couch when we first moved out, if you guys have been around for a while. Oh, maybe that's it over there. This might be it. I think it's called the Isabella. Is this it? No, that's not, is it this one? Oh, I think it is this one. Oh, okay. Yes, Isabella Sand. Oh, where's the bigger version, though? Oh, you know what? I don't love the fabric in person. Oh, maybe that's why it's kind of like an affordable price. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see the pattern. Just to give you a better look. Yeah, that's not going to be good with the dogs and kind of hard to clean because um, there's going to be like crevices in between the sewing or the fabric. Well, I'm glad I saw it in person. Hmm, I'll still link it down below though, if you guys, I mean, like the price and wanna see it in person. I just saw this one and this one's really nice. Um, it's going for 680 for this one. And this one's a little bit longer and it's going for 695. The fabric is way nicer. It's much more durable and cozier. I also like the beige tone on it. And I love the oak legs because that's really going to go well with the home. It kind of looks gray right now with the lighting, but in person, I don't know if you can see here, but it's a nice beige color. Michelle and Maiden are on the way. If you guys don't know and you're new to the channel, hello, Michelle's my best friend and Maiden is Michelle's little brother, but he's also like our little brother. We love him dearly. They're coming over tonight for a sleepover. He is on his holiday break before he goes back to school and we thought we would treat him to a chicken feast. That's one thing about Maiden is he's obsessed with chicken in every single form. So tonight he doesn't know it yet, but we are feasting on chicken. First on the menu, we have Dave's hot chicken 
skin. This is his current favorite. Also, Michelle's currently obsessed with it. So we got some sliders and fries. Look how good they look, you guys. Oh my goodness. So we got three of those. We're definitely going to have leftovers for tomorrow, which is the best. And then I got a bunch of wing stops. So we got, let's see. Oh, we have ranch. You know, wing stop ranch is the best. And then we have lemon pepper. And I believe this is garlic Parmesan cheese. And this one is, they're so hard to open. Oh, more ranch. This is garlic Parmesan cheese and more lemon pepper. And then we got a bunch of mild. And then we also got Popeyes. He loves the tenders. And then we have more tenders and a bunch of biscuits as well. So we have a bunch of food for the next two days. We also got mashed potatoes and honey mustard. Oh. Whoa, it's already okay. here? Right. Oh. Holy crap! Riley, come here! There's fries. Oh my god. There's yeah. a lot of. Well, there's fries there and here. Um, I'll take some. What do you need, baby? I don't know if I'll Paper get to towels? the next time. Mm -hmm. Just leave it down. Okay, yeah. Santa? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Canada dries good. Last time I tried it. Isn't that fried food? Oh, uh, it feels spiciness. Mmm. Mmm. Thank you. And then Tyler? Right? A little one? Yeah. Yeah. I hope so. Let me see. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. The fact it's that they need to No, no, nothing new. Yeah. Zanja, no, I, we're good. you don't need it. <laughs> yeah, we don't need it. We don't need yeah. it. I was about to consider. <laughs> you know, this is what happens when you eat with a whole bunch of 30 year olds. Tums. <laughs> Maybe later. I might eat it later. Pepto? No, no. Mom, just sit down. What's this one? Oh my god. You don't even know which one. I didn't oh, this is the heart attack one. Oh my gosh. Oh, baby, can yeah. Uh, can you get napkins? Oh yeah, napkins. Sorry, so we got pills. Thank you. Hello, friends. This is really good. How good is it? It's really good. It is so bomb. You guys mm -hmm. should get it. It's that Trader Joe's. Can I put these potatoes? Really good. This is bomb. Yeah. I have a coffee order. Yay! So satisfying. It's like my favorite thing in the morning. Oh. I know, I gotta buy more of them. Mom, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm so sad. Order for maiden? I've always wanted to do that. And then push it over your counter, Mom. <laughs> Order for maiden? Here, order for maiden. You pick up over here, sir. Please walk around. It's a hazard. This is a Kim's Cafe. Oh my god! Try it, try it, try it, try it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let your sister try it because I know she's curious. And I love the two fancy little blue Oh, it tastes the, so much better. The presentation is so good. Gracias. Please don't forget to tip. Hello. Carlos is making us breakfast. He's making his breakfast sandwich, which I love so much, and I'm so glad we had one bagel left. I have my coffee running over there. Oh, hang on, let me check on my coffee. Wow, it looks divine. My husband's the best, y'all. He should open up a sandwich shop. No, that's too stressful. <laughs> <laughs> then you're just like, oh man, like what if people don't like it, you know? No, I get you. Thanks, baby. Mmm. Yeah. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. I 
I love a good breakfast sandwich. I'm gonna eat this. I have to edit a video for my other YouTube channel. I have to go to the post office because I got some packages that were delivered. And then we're gonna go get octopus. This is Carlos's breakfast, lunch, breakfast and lunch. Wow. So when Michelle and Maiden were sleeping over, we were looking for something to watch and I found the show on HBO Max. It's called Real Time Crime. And basically it's these cases that all have all been solved and they basically backtrack and show you how the investigators and the detectives and you know their whole team solved the whole case. And it's so interesting because everything was solved using CCTV security cameras and it's just so cool. So if you guys love watching Watching, hi Carlos. <laughs> if you guys love watching like Dateline 2020, Law and Order. Oh, and all of these cases are real. And it's just so, so cool to like see how the process is like behind the scenes, how they solve cases. Pretty sad too though. It's definitely sad. A lot of the cases, actually none of them have ended well, huh? There's a couple that have like not had really, really, really sad endings, but a lot of them have. that there were cameras literally everywhere. You just don't even see them. I mean, I recommend this, you guys. 10 out of 10, such a good show. If you have HBO Max, I highly recommend it. If you don't have HBO Max, I highly recommend doing like a free trial and watching it and then canceling your subscription because it's so, so good. Koopy is always cuddling with me. I'm getting this video done. This is the show. Oh my god, it's so no good. Idea what was going on and law enforcement. I cannot believe that it's January. I was like telling everyone the other day, everyone is in people in my vlogs. <laughs> I felt like it was just January 2023. It's so weird to say 2024, you guys. I felt like it was just January 23, 2023. I feel like 2023 went by so fast for me. It was like January, blink, summer, blink, Christmas, done. It just felt incredibly fast. I'm trying to like reminisce on my life after COVID. 2020 was COVID. I feel like that was such, I don't know. Sometimes I look back at 2020 and I know everyone has a different experience during that year because there was like a lot of things going on. The world was going through a really tough time, but there was also like the other side to it. There was like a, there was, it was kind of like nice and calm to have a year where I kind of just felt like we didn't worry about the things that we were constantly worrying about all the time. Um, I mean, granted, there definitely was a lot of stress. <clears throat> there was a lot of stress, a lot of the unknowns. Um, it was very scary, and half the time, I think we were all very anxious about what the future was going to be like. A lot of people got sick. You know, we lost a lot of people in 2020, so there was definitely that side of it. Um, but if we're looking at all angles, it was just kind of nice that the world kind of slowed down a little bit and we all started to realize and appreciate the things that maybe we didn't or maybe we took for granted, you know, because we were too busy working or too busy caught up on other things in life. So I really kind of do like that the world slowed down a little bit. It was kind of nice, you know. It was really, really nice, especially if we live in California, there was like no one on the road. <laughs> it was really, really nice. You know, I'm also grateful for 2020 because the interest rates were so low. Uh, we ended up buying a house and that's something that we're really grateful about. 2021 was such a great year for me. I truly loved 2021. It was filled with exciting things. Um, life was really good in 2021. 2022, I feel like, it was an okay year. It wasn't as good, but it was just like, okay. And then 2023 was such a learning curve year for me. I learned a lot in 2023. Last year was just really all about figuring out where I want to be, you know, in the next 10 years and like planning ahead. And I don't know about this year. I mean, let me know in the comments down below what you guys are aiming for in 2024. I feel like 2024, things that I'm not gonna do. These are the things that are outs. I I don't wanna be like a workaholic. 
I feel like I work a lot and I'm constantly working and I'm constantly like working where I don't make time for the things that I love. So I'm not saying that, oh, I'm going to be a lazy ass and not work. Um, I'm just saying, you know, take it slow. Take in the moment. Enjoy life. Um, if I miss a video, it's not the end of the world for me. I want to prioritize spending quality time with my friends and family. Um, I don't want to feel guilty for taking a few days off if I needed for my mental health or just, like I said, prioritizing quality time with those who really matter to me. I think that like a lot of us, um, hopefully like a lot of us, I feel as if for me personally, I'm very work driven and I'm very money driven. Um, I don't know if maybe it's how I grew up and how I was raised, but not that I'm worried about not having money, but I tend to get very worried and anxious about the future. So in my head, I'm like, okay, well, I need to work because I don't know what the future holds. You know what I'm saying? And so I feel like maybe I got it from growing up in an immigrant family who was, you know, my mom's a very hard worker. She was a single mother of four. Uh, my sisters are, my sisters and my brother, they're all hardworking. And I think that my mom taught me how to worry, which is like so unfortunate. It's like a good and bad thing. I feel like people who worry ahead and like think about the future, it's like good and bad, right? Like it's good that we're like prepared and we have thought of every scenario possible. But then it's kind of bad because we like get very, really, really anxious and then we overthink and then we're like hard on ourselves and <clears throat> we can't enjoy the current life that we have because we're worrying about what if or the outcomes of the future. Something that I want to really focus on this year is get my shit done, get my work done, but really cut it off. Like one of the issues that I have is like I'm constantly working. So even if it's like eight or nine o'clock at night, I'm like on my computer answering emails, um, finishing up videos, things like that. And it's like, I want to do, you know, a schedule where like at five o'clock or six o'clock in the afternoon, everything stays in my office, I don't work, and I really spend that quality time with my husband and my dogs or focus on things that I love. Um, not just wake up, work, eat, sleep, wake up, work, eat, sleep, because I feel like that was kind of what I was taught to do. And I'm very grateful that I even have the luxury of even talking about this right now. I know that not a lot of people are in this in this position, and I don't, I never want to come off like I'm ungrateful or complaining because I'm definitely not. Um, I am extremely grateful for the life that I have and the job that I have, and you know, even just like a piece of rice on my plate is something that I'm so grateful about. I'm very, very thankful for having a roof over my head and just everyone in our lives were healthy and we're good. Um, I count my blessings every day. Um, so I, I never want to come off like I'm complaining, but I guess I'm just like noticing patterns in my life that I could change to have a better mental health. Cause I think that I'm too hard on myself and I don't give myself enough credit. And I also like, overthink things and it's so so bad if you are overthinkers I'm sure you know what I'm talking about so those are baby steps that I'm taking it's just so hard it's so hard when um I don't know like I said it's not like we don't have the like money saved up and we aren't making money it's just I don't know why I'm like always worried so far ahead like it it, it and like we need this and that or you know um I don't know like I said I think my mom really just like gave me that part of her <laughs> but yeah that's something that I want to you know I just want to enjoy the current time I have a really hard time staying within the current like present time um, because I'm always like 10 steps ahead and it's good to be a planner but then it takes away from like this moment you know I turned 30 a few months ago, and so, oh my goodness, did you guys know that I made a mess? Oh my god, I made a mess down here. Um, this is my, you know, year to be 30, and I've heard that, like, your 30s are, like, the best years of your life because you finish your 20s, you've established 
things in your life and you kind of have a better mindset on things. So I'm just hoping that thir my 30s are going to be good. You know, I want to, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I want to, I want to be in a good spot in my life, which I feel like I am, but I think having a better control of my mindset and how I view personal life and, and my, my professional career would really help me out. Uh, let me know if you guys have any advice. If you guys are maybe self-employed or business owners, you know, there, I feel like a lot of you guys can relate where there's like a, a difficult line between, um, personal and business. Because for me personally, it gets kind of hard because my personal life is my business. And so drawing that line can be a little bit difficult, which I've been talking about this for years and years and years. And I still have not found something that has helped me. So I'm hoping this year, maybe like cutting things off at like a proper time at night and really not touching work which will be so hard for me at the beginning I think that'll really help but yeah let me know what you guys are doing this year for your new year's resolution um I know it's such a good time to just like start new and start fresh and let go of things that just did not improve our lives last year